If you're anything like me, I have had a very tough time finding a to-do list system that I can actually stick with long term. I've tried so many pen to paper systems and then also a bunch of different apps and they work well for a little while. Um, now the closest thing that came to perfect was Cal Newport's time blocking system and I started that on January of 2022. Now I did a review and a separate video on that which you can find in the link in the description below. But in this video what I want to focus on is sharing the system that that kind Kind of sparked for me. Somebody had actually asked about me showing a visual of that, so I wanted to give out the free template as well in this video. Now, I started that on February 24th of 2022. It was a Notion template that I created to kind of have a digital version that I could keep up with. Now, what really you should know about me, I am kind of obsessive about tracking time. When I was coaching fitness, I was, you know, there was 70 plus clients I would write programs for on a week to week basis. And I actually have a file or notes that are over three years every single program I wrote and how long each one took. And I never, ever, ever miss that. And it's rare that I find systems like that that actually work for me. And this Notion thing is very similar and which is why I wanted to make this video on it. It's something that I am still doing today almost a year later and I have not lost any enthusiasm for it. I actually feel motivated to use it. Partly why this template was so useful for me was because I also had switched careers. So when I went from writing fitness programs and that was kind of my main deliverable day to day or answering comments and stuff, but after I went from that to being a freelancer and then a business owner and now I have to really kind of manage my time and wear a bunch of different hats and a bunch of different areas of the business, I needed something where I had evidence not for other people, but for myself. Like, what am I putting into this business? I saw a video with Noah Kagan saying, or interviewing some millionaire or something like that that said, the most important thing a CEO can do is invest his time or give his time. And that hit me for some reason around February 24th of 2022, where I made this Notion template and I decided like, I'm never going to not record something into this and I'm always going to be specific about what I write and what I'm working on because I want to be able to look back at this at the end of the month and see okay how much time did I actually invest in everything everything that's answering emails all the way to important projects like brainstorming ideas or actually filming these videos and you know posting on social media so for some reason on February 24th 2022 I just decided I was like I'm not going to do contribute any minutes into my business without actually tracking the time. I'm gonna clock in just like I would if I was an employee of my business. And I know there's so many other like time tracking systems for freelancers and things like that out there now where you can basically you know, record every action item of what you're working on for clients. But I wanted to take this a step further and I wanted to kind of customize it and I wanted to also track every item, like everything from answering emails to actually editing clips and you know the deliverables that I have for my business to even recording this video and making content. So I'm gonna share that with you. It's super simple. You can download the template in the description below, but I'm gonna go through it with you on screen now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what this template looks like from scratch first, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like filled out with an example from one of the previous months. Um, so that's where we should start. I like to actually reset every single month so I can see how much time total was put in and so that it doesn't become this endless database so you can kind of uh, go back and revisit by the month. So I like to do that in the title typically. Um, I'll start it with like you know, 12, 1, 23 timestamps. That's typically what I'll title it up top over here. When you actually make a copy and download this into your Notion, you can title it whatever you want. Um, I recommend though, including the month in this title. Now, one of the most important parts of this template is the time created column. So when I hit new, you're gonna see that it gives me the current time, the current date. Um, and this is basically what begins or allows the task to start. It does open up in the side view. I like filling it out sometimes times there because you can put a lot more data and information in this section like pictures and notes and brain dumping and all that different stuff right um, but the next thing I do is just close this out I come over here and when I start the task I typically don't do this I'll do it at the end but it's good too if you're like okay write and send a proposal to Mike 
Okay, so that's the task I'm focused on and working on. Now, I like to be really specific here. Um, if I'm writing emails, who am I writing the emails to? If I'm editing clips, what clip am I editing? So those timestamps typically will look like, if I hit new, edit clip one for batch four, Jamie Z, okay? So the name of the client or for the show, what clip it is, I like to have all that data. Now, in this next column, I don't fill out the time invested until it's actually over. So when I'm done the clip and let's say I'm exporting it, um, now I'm gonna come back and I do some quick math. So I'm like, okay, 741, now it is 802. So I basically spent 21 minutes on this task. So I come here, type in 21. And then um, any notes I have, I typically don't fill this out unless there are actually some important notes. Like if I get sidetracked or something like that, I'll make sure to put that in. Or something like, why did this task take so long? Or why was I able to finish this task so quickly? That is stuff that I could put in the notes section so I can remember that when I'm, you know, like next time, copy and paste the pricing section or something like that, right? Um, then the next thing is the day. So in the day column, I am not as good as keeping up with this sometimes, but it is nice to see. You're like, okay, Tuesday. That way at a quick glance, you can see everything that was done on Tuesday. And then there's also tags. So um, basically I have my own here, um, strategy, clients, leads, jokes, sales, marketing, retention, fulfillment, delegate. Um, I'm also not as great as filling the tag section out, but it is good to do that because you can see like, oh, am I getting you know, really caught up in uh, the sales aspect of the business or, you know, am I investing the time into my marketing like I had planned to? Um, so that's all stuff that you can categorize, uh, you know, and personalize your own tags. I'll actually delete this so you don't have to uh, see these. But the next important thing you're gonna see is the sum section below. So um, this is adding up the total minutes that are in the time invested column for all of the tasks for the month so far. Now, um, this is a section that I don't like. I wish Notion would improve this part and maybe they will in the future, where if I was able to highlight, you know, let's say I write 42 uh, and 30, 332 and then let's say I want to like just see for these two cells like what's the total for that I'm not really able to see that it just gives you a total sum so that's one disadvantage to this but it's really not too big of a deal um, and then basically at the end of the month you know let's say it's uh, 10,000 right so you would divide 10,000 minutes by 60 to see how many hours total you know you've worked for example I have this other view in here that I don't use too often, but it is good to have. When you hit calendar, basically whenever you have your timestamps, you can see it in a calendar. I mean, it doesn't look good on mobile, like it's not as easy to just see like this, but on desktop, it looks awesome where you can see all the tasks that you've done in a calendar format and which days were actually very heavy with tasks or a bunch of different things and which days were a little bit slimmer. Now that I've shown you, you know, this empty template, I want to show you what it looks like filled out on an average month. Now let's take a look at the first month ever that I actually did this. Um, I actually was wrong. I didn't start on February 24th, 2022. It was January 24th, 2022. So as you can see, quick scroll, you know, some these two col uh, columns, as I mentioned, uh, you know, not as filled out, but then some notes like, oh, sold $300 of consulting. I want to remember that. Um, now, I don't have the calendar view set up here. It wasn't created then. So let me go back and show you in a more recent one. Okay, so here is December of 2022. As you can see, not a lot of notes in here. A lot of how I actually included some of the notes by December was when you see these, uh, like this document logo here, basically that means that you filled out information, um, you know, in that note card area. So anytime you can also change those into emojis, I think, but, um, that's how I know that, okay, there's more notes inside of here, whether I was just, you know, brain dumping or whether I was just, you know, uh, planning or strategizing. Um, so that's kind of good to know.
Now let me show you the calendar view that I was talking about. Um, basically, if we go back to December, you can see how on some days we're super heavy and some days, wow, it was very, very long, like super long. Um, so I don't know, I like to see that from time to time. Now, a section that I want to highlight is whenever you see like a blank cell, um, that I leave. So I don't always delete those blank cells once I hit new because I like to see when I started something and then I actually didn't do it. I got sidetracked, I you know did something else. Um, so anytime you see those blank untitled cards, that typically will mean, okay, I started it and then I got sidetracked and then I came back and when I'm ready to start it again, maybe 13 minutes later, I hit new and begin a new cell. Now, I'm going to show you real quick how to download this into your own Notion library because you're not going to be able to edit this until you do. So make sure to create a Notion account first and then you are going to um, click the link. This is the link to the template as of now. You basically hit duplicate this button here and then it's going to duplicate that into your Notion account. And then you can go ahead and kind of customize it from there. Now, something else that you can change once you actually download this, if you want, is the way it's sorted. I have it so that the most recent stuff is all the way up at the top, just because it's so annoying to actually scroll all the way down once this thing starts to get long, like in week three, you're gonna be like, oh gosh. So basically the way I have this sort filter, you'll see um, it's based on time created and descending. So that's the only thing you need to keep in mind. You can add your own filters, you can change up this emoji, you could really do whatever you want. So I hope this was useful and I hope it was a lesson in how, you know, I like to kind of customize things to myself. So I hope you change some of this stuff and, you know, make it personalized to you. I'm not gonna be offended by that, you know, by any means. So make sure to utilize it in a way that's useful for you. Um, and, you know, if there's any way I can help, make sure to drop a comment below um, and make sure to download this template. You can find that in the description. Um, but again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.